Yes, it's your boy Martin Van Evra. It's another day I say thanks to the Most High, His Father in Heaven. I say thank you to you guys, all of you. I will appreciate you also. You have been so supportive. Uh, the video I posted yesterday, in terms of views, in terms of impression, click through is doing very good. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Uh, this is the only thing I will tell you. And uh, in terms of subscribers also, thank you very much. Today I come in, I'm, I'm in Nairobi town. Where I'm standing, this is um, Tomboya Street. This is Tomboya Street I'm, and I'm standing in the middle. I'm sure I told you about the cabro that you are seeing below me. I said to you, I told you the reason as why. I gave you away, but I told you the other side they are putting cabro. On the walkway they are putting cabro. So the, the old one, they have decided to, to, to put them here so that when they are finished, they will carry them out. So today, I'm bringing another video while in Nairobi town. The aim of the video of today is just to move in Nairobi town to see how Kenyans uh, wear their clothes, how they, they move in Nairobi town on a normal street. Some people they'll say that uh, the ladies, they wear half naked, others, they are decent. So this is today's video is all, all about uh, the clothes, the, the wearing of our our people in Kenya, and which culture do we follow? Do we do we are we into West or are we into Arabs? Because in Arabs, mostly the ladies or Islamic ladies will wear the hijab and the full dress. In Kenya, we call it bui bui. And uh, for uh, for the others, the Christians or uh, whichever. They decide how to wear. Someone may wear half naked, others will decide to wear jeans. It is so today's video is all about how people, uh, what they wear, how they look. And uh, I will not be talking to anyone. As you all know, for me, I just go on doing videos, talking to myself. Okay, so the, the video of today is all about that. So please uh, consider subscribing on my channel. Martin Van Evra is my name. Support me by subscribing on my YouTube channel. And uh, I say that in case you can donate something, uh, don't uh, hesitate, please, you can do that. So today's video is all about uh, the work in Nairobi town, just to see how people wear their clothes, and along the way I'll be talking about other stories when they come. Yes, for me, I'm a storyteller, and uh, today's video, I don't think it will be that long. I want to make it short. Yesterday video was so long, it was for one hour, seven minutes, it was very long. This is KD Street, KD Street is just near Apia Center, as we try to move out uh, to this stage. And uh, you can see, we have this vehicle here, we have this vehicle, it's an electric bus, it's an electric bus that the country is trying to move from, from the... That we were moving away from this type of bus that are using petrol to electric bus so that we can control our the, our global the ecosystem. Yes. So yesterday video, I'm sure it was very long. It was very long, but uh, in terms of views, it's doing very good. Impression click through is doing very good, and I'm happy about that. This is Moye. Boy Avenue as I'm moving from railways as I'm heading to Ambassador. Aim of the video just how to be aware in Nairobi town. Do we walk half naked? When I mean half naked, I'm talking about ladies. Most of them are the ones who will do that. And men, for men, it is very hard to see something fishy, but for ladies, yes. So the aim of the video today is all about that, as I keep on talking, because along the way when you are moving, you will hear a lot of stories that I'll be talking about. This is a stage that uh, goes to Angata Rongai, so for me, I pick my vehicle from this area. So the video of today is self-explained, you have to we have to keep, we have to, uh, to keep about the theme we are talking about today. Yes.
that's most of the time I, I have told you that uh, my thumbnails will come from what I've recorded. I don't import my thumbnails. I just take screenshots of what I've recorded. Here, yeah, that will be my thumbnail. Yes, under the title will come along according to what I've been able. Because before I post the video, when I'm, when I'm joining the videos, I have to watch them also. Because sometimes there are some errors in the video, so you're supposed to be keen about that. Yes, there's no root now. So still more. This is Ambassador area. Uh, this area is called Ambassador. Yeah, the other day I told you that here is where we have the, uh, the stage 2, JKA and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Yes. So don't, don't get away from what we are talking about. The aim of the video is how do Kenyans wear? Do we walk half naked? Do we, wear, do, you, do we wear decent clothes? So the video once you have watched it, for you you will make the conclusion. Yes. For the boys, they will keep it simple. They don't overdo. Uh, but for the ladies, it's a bit, they will overdo. That is their nature and uh, it is all over. Like yesterday, it was like, it was like someone was on the on the beach. You saw that on my thumbnail. You can see the two ladies, but there's only one who is being seen very well. But on my thumbnail, you can see you can see the two ladies. Yes, it was like uh, someone was on the beach yesterday, and we don't have any water in Nairobi town. But uh, it was a bit shocking, it was a bit shocking, that, that video. I'm moving away from that side where we have people, to this side because there's uh, music playing there. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I will try my level best to move away from the copyright strike. Copyright strike. Martin Van Evra is my YouTube channel name. Support me by subscribing to my channel. So far, so far, so good. Nothing uh, fishy. Everything okay. Yes. The result that I've started recording very early. No, it's not that early. I'm just on time. Because in Nairobi, you don't know when people are going to. Work when people are going back to the house, just you have yeah, people are moving in and out, so it is very hard for you also to, to understand. But, uh, this, this area, we have music playing there, so I have to move out. And I wanted to pass there. And let me branch it still. Still, I would go there because I'm used to this Nairobi town. I know how to, where I can pass, where I can exit. That is the beauty of Nairobi town once you understand it in and out. Martin Van Evra is my YouTube channel name. Support me by subscribing on my channel. You can also donate to me in case you will feel touched by what I'm doing Hello? yes you can still donate to me to my channel just support yes because uh, it is not that easy it is not that easy I'm telling it is so hard very hard to survive in the state of the internet once Yes, not that easy. Most of the time, you know, might say that the donations do help. They do help so much. Without them, without them, most of these big YouTubers, they could not be existing. Yes, the 
donations are, uh, are good are part of us and uh, it is not bad to ask for donations in case you want. Uh, just ask. So in case anyone is touched by my story, you can donate to my channel. Martin Van Ever. But I will share my official name because you send the money to Martin Van Ever. I cannot, I cannot, I can't be able to make it low. That is in Western Union. Western Union, they will ask for your ID. Yes, they will ask for your ID. And there's no any identification card. I have such names, Martin Van Ever. Martin is my name. Van Ever is like AKA. Yes, AKA. Van Ever is AKA. And, uh, I told you the other day I talked about it. I'm a supporter and a fan of Manchester United. There's a time where we had this goalkeeper from touch. His name was Edwin Vamasa. And then another thing we, we came, then we had also a touch coach by the name Luis Van Gaal. We had one left, left back from France. That, that is uh, Patrice Evra. So my name came there because before I was calling myself Matt Evra. That when I was in form four. And then I, I found that it was not uh, that good. Then uh, when Van Gaal was signed as the coach, then I changed. I was also a very big fan of Edwin Van der Sar. So I changed. Then I called myself Martin Van Evra. That's how the name came. But on my official, that is not my name. My own official name is only Martin. I'm Martin Mushira. Yes. Okay? But there are three names. The other is very hard to pronounce. So today's video, we are moving in Nairobi. And when you go to this small lens, it is very hard to meet a lot of people. The aim of the video I told you about, just to see how do people wear in Nairobi town. Especially that woman, you can see just very simple, a shirt, a t-shirt, just not that alarming. But for ladies, they normally do it, they will do it extra, yes, ladies, they will extra rate it, then you tell you start wondering, are we on the beach, or what's happening, yes, <laughs> now that is their data, it is all over, it is not only in Kenya. Now for them, is it for ladies? They always do like they want to act like this. The morning star, the morning star will always light so bright. So there, you will notice that this is the morning star. So this is the nature of all of the ladies. They want to be so bright all over. Yes, in terms of wearing. In terms of walking style, like everything, they just want to take everything on there uh, for themselves. Yes. Martin Van Ever is my name. My feet, my for my cobra. I can feel it just started overheating, but I know I will. Uh, I will pause it. Yes, I will pause it. Yes. Because when you stop, when you stop filming, then uh, it will cool down. Okay? So you should be keen. Huh? Because today I've given you the job to do. Just focus. Focus on the video. Look at the details of the video. Yes, but also for me, 
I will, as I move, I keep on looking for my thumbnail because the thumbnail is so important than anything else. That is where, that is a thing that will make you, uh, will make you to click on my video, the thumbnail. Without a clear thumbnail, it's very hard for you even to click that video. And as I've told you that I, I don't I don't import my thumbnails. All of my thumbnails I take screenshot of what I've recorded. If I'm lying you can tell me. But before I used to ex to import that. Yes. But for now no, I've stopped that. That but before it was long time, not right now. It was a long time ago. For now I've just watched the video and take screenshot of what I've been able to record then that one acts like my thumbnail. My voice maybe will be so low but yeah, sometimes also I cannot that I cannot shout. I can't shout oh la 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 just speak on a low on a low voice tone. So far, so far, so good, so far, so good. I haven't seen anything wrong. <laughs> Baza Plaza on Moy Avenue. This is uh, Bihi, Bihi Towers. Yes, this is where we have big shops doing big business, this area of Nairobi. So this is, uh, in terms of, uh, because from up your center it is down. So they say this is, uh, uh, it's not even about uptown, no. Like in terms of flow, if it rains, water will fall, it will flow toward up your center. Yes. So this area is well known in terms of uh, universities, big shops, yes banks also most of the banks are at this area of Nairobi so far so good nothing has has gotten my eyes and I don't know if the my my recordings have been able to record anything I don't know but we will see mostly you, you watch it after you have recorded you go through it as you try to look for a thumbnail and eventually you will find one you cannot just go empty handed you will find one among them Nairobi town very big city ever busy ever busy ever busy yes that is Nairobi town for you CBD okay let me branch here today you try this side of uh, uh, nation center where we have the biggest TVs of registration yes. but I fear the route because of uh, the presence of the police yes uh, for men so far for men you have seen the dress code it's not that alarming for men, but it's for men. So ladies, mixed. Men just, it's like, they wear the same. And trousers, that's a jeans, t-shirt, or shirt. But uh, for our girls, for them, they will make everything shine. They will always want to shine. <laughs> Yeah, that is how they are and uh, you know, you cannot change anything. It is like that. It is like that all over. Yeah, and uh, we have to live with it just like that. Okay? In Nairobi town, Martin Van Ebra is my name. Uh, this is Nation Center. And, uh, I fear maybe showing it, but... Uh, 
but I cannot show you the, the other side because there's a president of the police and they see you are recording a media house. So you have just to move. Okay? Yes, and I said today video won't be long, but still, I'm seeing that it will be very long. Now I'm trying to look, to check. Trying to check. Yesterday, yesterday I recorded a video here, but the guy I was with, he decided to, he decided to delete that video. Did not feel very well. That guy, Mr. Tony, I was with him and I recorded part of this area, but he went on deleting the video without me knowing. Luckily, I had only recorded a small section of this. I had not recorded a big one, but he deleted it. And I felt so bad because when I went in the house, I was i was joining the videos i did not see that video this is in between the nation center moy avenue and this route and i was the other side okay this is in between so i had recorded a video here but this guy just deleted the video and uh, when i had i had finished editing i was looking for that part then I, I called him, I told him, bro, what happened to my video? And he laughed and I knew, oh, so you deleted the video. Yeah, so I found out that he had deleted the video and uh, I was not happy. I told him, why did you delete? Then he was like, okay, don't worry, you'll re we will record another one today. But I told him, no, you see what I had recorded, I won't be able to record it today. Yesterday was a special day, it was Valentine's Day, so that's why I decided to make the video. And uh, you, you delete it without telling me why. You see, but at that time, you see, you cannot do anything. And when, because he deleted from, he deleted it, I had not transferred the video to my phone. So he deleted it from the Cobra side. So I had not, that footage got lost. And, uh, it did not go well with him. I was not happy, but what could I have done? I noticed that that I noticed that very late. He had already left. You see, at that time you have little you can do. You can't do anything at all. Yes. But uh, it is what it is. This is also in between uh, buildings. The other side is Moy Avenue. Yes, so far so good. Nothing fishy. Everyone is decent. Yes, like yesterday, it was so crazy. I think. So. <laughs> but not only yesterday. In these major cities, that is what will happen always. Yeah, like it's not like yesterday it was crazy. Today is not crazy. No, just the same people. Yes. But today, as I've said, I haven't captured anything like suspicious, maybe I'm shocked, no. But in Nairobi, do we get shocked? No, we don't. It is usual. Like in the major cities, this is usual. Because, you see, in the major cities, people, they leave the culture back home. So for them, they are free. They are not with their parents that people will keep on telling that this is wrong. No. Now they are on their own. That's why they will do their own things, you see? Because, you see, when you are, uh, you are back home, your parents will be uh, asking you, oh, please, just look good, don't be like this. So they'll keep on doing that. But while you are in the city, no one cares about you. You are on your own. Yes, that is how the city life is. You are on your own, you can do your own thing, so nobody really cares about what you're doing. Yes. <clears throat> this is where I've been starting most of my videos. 
but today maybe I will come to end my video at this spot all of the time I will come and start it from this area the main aim of the video how do Nairobians wear do they wear it half naked or they are a bit decent and the anger is uh, they are decent they are decent so far so far so good yes but uh should i say that it is because i've decided to to focus on uptown nairobi no even if it is uptown still those like we are moving in nairobi we move in nairobi we move in we move out you go to uptown because Downtown is where you take the vehicle back to your, uh, where you stay. Uptown is a bit where people are working. Yes. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yes. It's a bit. Should I go for lunch? It's already three. It's time for to eat supper, not lunch. So the aim of the video was to, to show you how people were in Nairobi town. Yes. For the but a bit sometimes I, do, I I I feel not good talking about the Muslim and Christian, but I will tell that for the for the Muslim community or those people from northern part of Kenya coastal region they will wear the hijab and uh, the long dress i just know it it's called bui bui hey, something has passed me what was i doing that's i've done something wrong yeah it's okay it's okay why did i move away from that that area I was just moving very well and I decided to cross to this side and then boom something a bit attractive passing there and I cannot just jump that side. Okay so as Del I was saying that uh, for the for the ladies mostly with the uh, Islamic background or area like northern northern part of Kenya, coastal region, they will wear hijab and uh, and uh, bui bui. That bui bui just is a long dress. For them, they are decent. Some, but for us Christians, different. <laughs> we make it look. <laughs> We make it look uh, like, <laughs> uh, but uh, in, the, in the city, people make it, they take it, it's mixed. That is in the city, <laughs> yes. But mostly, uh, we, we take this, uh, we take this uh, culture from the West. Yes, someone is called. Uh, yes, so sometimes. When someone calls and you come back, you, you forget where you left, okay? I was telling that the culture we, we take from the West, yes, that's uh, what is in our country. Yes, another thing for the, the, the Muslim community, that is their, like, their, it has been like that. For them, you see, showing us. Uh, parts of your body to, like uh, to men uh, it is not like it is is it haram do you call it haram i think so yeah, maybe i'm using the correct word but for me i don't know deep but i know they normally say it is haram yes they say that it is haram yeah so they have kept that one like i know when a child is still young if she's a girl, they will keep her in that culture. Yes. I'm waiting for the vehicle to pass over that cross. Yes. So, uh, 
uh, the simple way for men I think you have seen for men I've told you I keep on saying they do it normally yeah. and so far you have seen that but for the side of ladies it's a bit exaggerated they will do it like just to attract everyone and I've told you that they act like the morning star. The morning star is ever shining. It is ever shining. So you can distinguish it from the other stars. For the ladies, they act like morning stars. They're supposed to shine. And that is their nature. And uh, you can see, for men, just normal, just a normal, normal cloth. Not uh, something so attractive now that's how simple men are very simple so i'll try my level best i want to cross i try to enter nairobi downtown today today i want to visit kitavi today i'm not visiting kitavi yeah because if i want to visit kitavi I'm supposed to go this side i will, I will meet him but today i will cross here I'll cross here at Kenko. Yes, I want to have a small, a small look at uh, Nairobi town town. That is some, we call some interesting part. Uh, so it's a bit interesting, Nairobi town town. Yes, it's a bit interesting. So, that is it. This area is called Kenko. Is the biggest bank, KCB bank, some of the biggest banks in Kenya. KCB, we have KCB, we have cooperative, we have family, equity, ETC. Some of the biggest banks in Nairobi, K KBC. KCB, not KBC. KBC is, a, is, a, is an information house. Uh -huh. Let me try to hurry up. Uh, but they are still there, very far from where I am. So this area is called Kenko. Kenko. Ever busy in Iran, town, it is like that. So that will just reverse without yeah, you see the car. <laughs> the guy is obsessed with this lady. Yes, he's a bit obsessed with her. You are my size, I love you. Thank you. Heavy machine. Heavy machine. So far, that is one of the names that I use as my thumbnail. So let's have a small look in downtown Nairobi as we end this video of today. Today, yesterday it was a bit congested. They have not seen that. Today is a bit empty. Martin Van Evra, this area is called Ambassador. Yes, we are at Ambassador. Yes, at Ambassador in Nairobi. The aim of the video was very simple. To move in just to see how people dress. And it is you to tell me. For me, we are, we are used to that. We normally see it and uh, you cannot do anything, you see? Yes. So the aim was very simple. How do people dress? Yes, that was the main aim of this video. And so far, on the main side, it's okay. On the lady side also, it's okay. Uh, nothing, nothing to worry about or nothing to, to get you shocked. Just normal dressing code. County officials. Uh, county official is not a police. It's just a county official. Their work is to make the city clean. 
That is their main work. So they are being paid by the county. The county of Nairobi. One of the contested areas in Nairobi. Some of them. Music playing. People do their work. You have to move very fast. This is Nairobi downtown. Where is Nairobi downtown? Where you don't have any right of <laughs> like you see for you to pass, you have to, to move. Don't wait for someone to give you away. No one gives you away. When you are walking here, don't wait for anyone to give you away. No, just move as they are moving. I think that is simple explanation how things are. My, my copro is now overheating. Yes, you can feel the heat. Now starting overheating. Okay. As we try to wind up our video today, it's your boy, Van Evra. I'm happy to have recorded this video for you. If you find it so appealing, good, please consider subscribing on my channel. Consider subscribing on my channel. That is the main thing. The support I'm having you. In case also you can donate to my channel, I cannot say no, please. If you can donate through Western Union, MoneyGram. Yes, that are some of the, the money transfer I'm using. And those who can use M-Pesa also, it's not bad. But I will share the information. I will share that information once I'm about to upload the video. Nairobi downtown is ever full of people, including on Sunday. Yes, ever full of people. Yes. This is the engine. This is where all businesses are done in Nairobi. This is the engine, the hub itself. Yes. Uh, nothing so far. Just trying to, to end my my video. So most of the time you look for a perfect spot where you can end your video. It was a call. I'm silent, I don't know what now I can talk about. But the area is too noisy, it's very hard also to speak. I will be speaking and uh, your voice won't be that audible. Okay? Yes. Martin Van Elra is my YouTube channel name. Support me by subscribing on my channel. This video was very simple to move in Nairobi town as we check or as we try to see how Kenyans how did they wear? Yes. Are we put in fashion? Or do we, we don't know. We're doing casework. How do we wear? Do we wear respected clothes, half naked? That was the main aim. And today it is not that crazy like yesterday. Yesterday video I think you have watched, but uh, it was I think it was two ladies 
losing men out there. Who had uh, who had won crazy clothes? Not many of them, only two. Yes. Or did I come very early to the court? I At another thing I cannot repeat the video. It just comes once, maybe tomorrow if I repeat. I'll be speaking on a different thing. But mostly I try to keep the thumbnails. Most of the time my thumbnails are with the ladies' pictures that I've just screenshotted from what I was able to record. So that is where my thumbnails will come from. So it is like my thumbnails are the same. They have the same theme. Yes. Mostly uh, Yes, mostly are ladies. Okay? This is Ronald Ngala. As I'm trying to end my video, I won't go far. Just I'm about to end it because uh, I'm near near River Road. River Road is not far from here where I am. I'm nearing River Road, and uh, I have to end. I have to end my video. Yes. Martin Van Ebra is my YouTube channel name. Support me by subscribing, comment, like, and share. And I say that uh, if I'm doing something wrong or it's not appealing, don't hesitate to tell me, tell me, and I will change. But uh, don't tell me not to tag someone, because if you will tell me to stop tagging someone, then that is very wrong. That's a very negative comment. If that person will reach to me and ask me not to tag them, yeah, that is the only thing I can hear from them. But for you, don't tell me, oh, don't tag this one, no. For there, I think you don't have any powers. He has to control the tagging. If it is your channel, then it's okay. But when you find that it's a channel of someone, then you are telling me, no. why are you tagging him? Don't tag her, don't tag him, no. You have no any power on that. That is the only comment I won't take. Yes. Now for you to tell me not to tag another person who is not you, that is wrong. If it is you, if it is you saying and it is your channel, I will respect that and I won't tag you. But if you are talking about someone else who is not you, then uh, for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> So does it mean that uh, I don't listen? I do listen, but when you are telling me not to tag someone, like we tag people only for our videos to be re to be also re uh, like when someone is searching their name, my video also can appear along. Yes, we don't tag them by like we are doing something wrong. And in case it is only him or her who can tell you not to do so. But not another person, just an outsider telling you, oh, why are you tagging me? No, do your own thing. No, that is where, that is where I cross. That's where I cross. I, 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 I would cross up with you, yes. That one is a very negative comment. It's not, we are not even encouraging anyone. Very negative. Huh. This is law and I wrote it. Yes, you can tell it by the look of things. We are in law and I wrote it. The other day, the other day I was the other side, but I'm planning also to go back there. I haven't find a perfect day to go there. Those ladies that I were doing the interview and uh, two of them were arrested by the police. So always I would say that I'll go there by. Like I'm a bit, I, now the fear is in me. I don't know what will happen. 
But I'll go there off the camera just to see if they are still there and uh, I'll try to communicate with them. Okay, maybe I have nothing more to show you. It is time I have to end this video. Today I'm recording this video from Nairobi. And like always, I'll record it from Nairobi. Not, not always. Sometimes I'm in Nonga Tarongai. But most of the, my videos, are, I've done them. I've recorded them while in Nairobi town. But on different lanes, different roads, with different topics. Okay, so today's topic was a bit different. Just to see how people were in Nairobi town. That was the aim of this uh, video. And if you find it so useful, please consider subscribing on my channel. Comment, like, and share. I Sorry for that. We have a lot of people. I love it all. You are supposed also to be keen. So as I'm trying to walk, I cannot keep my eyes on the camera. Maybe someone will hit me. From, or I will, I will bump into someone. Yeah, that's why you see when I'm talking, I'm trying to look in front. So just to, I can still keep eye contact, but when there's a lot of people, it is very hard. Okay? Support me by subscribing on my channel. Uh, let's meet next time. Bye bye. See you as I end this video.